What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So we all know of Binance's announcements and their talk of the Terra Classic network, and we keep focusing on many different things, whether it's about, um, you know, the announcement itself and saying, hey, you know, they're talking about not introducing it on spot trading and margin trading um, without actually having a lot of context behind it. Right. I talked about this previously in a different video. Uh, saying that right now we're focusing on the wrong thing. They're talking about the Terra Classic Network and talking about how this position, um, they're looking to do this here and only really function and support the 1.2% on the network. But how they do it off chain hasn't really been discussed yet. We've seen a number of hints from CZ basically saying, hey, you know, um, I want to see them implement it on chain first and then we can figure out the off chain uh, situation. Uh, without actually saying that last part, he kind of just said, I need to see them implement it on chain first. And that was it. So kind of hinting to the fact that we'll look into it after that does happen. Uh, so I wanted to talk about this whole Binance situation and even other exchanges as well. And whether we need Binance, whether we need gate.io in order to get to some of these levels that we hope to get to. And I wouldn't say we necessarily need it. Um, I put out a video talking about on-chain burns recently, only on-chain burns and going through a scenario as to why we may not need it. Um, but this is gonna be a further breakdown of exactly um, what my thoughts are. So guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel quite a bit. And if you guys wanna follow me on Twitter, at Perry AK, you can follow me there. Don't forget about my Patreon, guys. Patreon is definitely blowing up and uh, we're getting a lot of people that are interested in some of the higher tier uh, levels. And one of these days, I'm going to have to close it up. I can't um, make this many available or, or um, go through this many people, especially with the financial freedom levels. Because if we have people that I'm doing these one hour meetings for or, or 30 minute meetings for every single month, uh, obviously you start to fill up a lot of your schedule, especially if they're on the weekends and stuff like that, which I may not have a ton of time there. Uh, but I definitely will make time for a lot of the financial freedom members. I just need to limit it to a certain amount, maybe like 25 spots or something. And then, um, it, you know, we can go from there. So anyways, I'll, th I'll talk about that in a future video. But right now, um, all of the spots are open. Feel free to join it. Link is in the description. Anyways, let's talk about this, right? Because we know that this is the thing that people go back to, right? The notice on tax burn for Lunic and USTC on the Terra Classic Network. A lot of people focus on this part right here. Spot and margin trading for Lunic and USTC as well as relevant services on Binance Earn, uh, Binance Staking, Binance Savings will not be affected by this burn tax, right? That's a big uh, statement right there. And people take that as like, oh, they're not doing off-chain burns. They're not even focused on or anything like that. This right here is only pertaining to the classic network. So we don't have to worry about what they're doing. We've seen from CZ that he said, hey, we want to see it on-chain first. Then we'll figure out something else, right? Um, we've seen it from other places. Let's let's worry about the on-chain being implemented first. And then you can start uh, you know, changing things to implement this off-chain uh, I don't believe that Binance um, benefits from not doing the burn tax. You can say that they do, but I don't think they benefit from not doing the burn tax. We've seen how support can flow over to Terra Classic, uh, the Terra Classic network and Terra Station um, from Binance. And actually, they've moved a lot of their coins over to there. Uh, people with their with their normal trading moved it over to Terra Station, and that's because they feel like there's more of a benefit over there, right? They support the position a lot more, obviously. And when we see the 1.2% burn, who's to say that that's not going to be further support that we have over there? So, with that being said, with uh, you know Terra Classic being down, we want to focus on uh, the fact that um, like what's going to happen in the future. What is the future output of this position, and can we expect uh, this to get to where we want it to get to without these Binance burns, without these gate.io burns, without these KuCoin burns? Can we get to where we want to get to without all of their support? And my answer is yes, right? Yes, you can go down here and you can say, oh, Binance is 46% of the overall supply and it's a problem, right? KuCoin, um, 9%, right? Gate.io, 8%. You can see HG, that's 1%. So obviously they have a large impact, 
So how can you get there if you have a huge impact? Well, if you look at this right here, this is really only looking at what, like a 60% uh, of the entire, um, you know, supply there, the entire volume or whatever, 70% of the entire volume in other days, where if we go to Terra station, we're going to see that you can get, actually, let's go back to Luna. You're going to see that we have, you know, billions, either hundreds of billions, or if we look out seven days, we're going to see that we have trillions, uh, 3.13 trillion, 2.85 trillion. If you can get to this many Luna that you are going through, and I would imagine you are going to see a lot of that flow through there. If Binance is not supporting it, people on Binance are going to move over to Terra Station, not only the stake, but also to have the benefit of the 1.2% burn. I will gladly accept the 1.2%. Um, you know, if I know that everybody else is going to do the same. Now you will have people that take advantage of it and probably flow through Binance, but it's not going to help them in the long run because people are just going to move their their uh, Lunic tokens or their Lunic coins over to Terra Station, over to a place to where it does support the 1.2% burn. Um, I strongly believe that we will see um, you know, trillions of volume go through here. And not only, you know, we're not going to see, you know, these levels of 200 billion or 300 billion, we're going to see levels of one, two or three uh, trillion, which could essentially affect the burn in quite a big way. So do I think that Binance has uh, a lot of pool? Of course they do. 40% of the overall volume right now, how much they hold in their hot wallet, they obviously hold a lot of pool. Um, but to be realistic, I do think that they are going to implement this burn. It's just going to be in a matter of time. I think we will probably go one month after the on-chain burn taxes, and then they will figure out how to implement the off-chain burn taxes as well. But even if we don't have it, we don't have it at all, I still do believe that we can get there. I still do believe that you can get to a uh, to be a lunic millionaire, because even right now without doing any burns, you could essentially get up to a 60 billion dollar market cap um, we've seen coins do it without any use cases um, so we can see it get up to a 60 billion dollar market cap which would be a one cent price and that would get a lot of people to that millionaire level especially people that are holding hundreds of millions anybody else that's holding less than that you can get to tens of thousands maybe hundreds of thousands and that will work out in the end for you um but I do expect so much more out of this position. I do expect the on-chain burns to have a lot more of an effect than other people believe that it would have. So, and that just may be me. You know, I may be sitting alone here thinking about this and, um, you know, others may be looking at it and saying, you know, you're stupid, Matt, for thinking that. On-chain burns are not going to have any type of an effect. I think they will. And if we, um, if we come out and talk about this and say what people, you know, should do in these, um, you know, in these hard times, because obviously if, if Binance is not going to do it, you want to see more that migrates over to Terra Station. If we do that, then we could see more and more burns and people can become millionaires or a hundred thousandaires, right? Just make a lot of money from one position with a low risk, right? Anyways, guys, hit the like button. Let me know what you think about this. Am, am I right by saying this or am I wrong? Um, I'm always interested in, in stuff. I read all the comments. Someone tried to call me out and said I didn't read comments. I read all the comments, even the freaking scam ones that come through and it pisses me off because I, I can't I can't do anything anymore. I can't respond to your comments because they just try and scam people. Anyways, that's enough ranting. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow my Patreon, feel free to do that as well as my uh, Twitter at Perry8K. Um, and while I'm at it, why don't you go ahead and check out my TikTok and my Instagram? I have those links down below as well. But I'm going to get out of here. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.